What's up guys? Welcome back to Fusion by Fong. We got a fun one today. Recently I've been inspired by Hulu's hit restaurant drama, The Bear. A great show that depicts all the chaos of the kitchen. The show is based in Chicago where one of the items they make is a Chicago style hot dog. So today we decided to remix this dish with another Chicago classic. I'm talking about the Chicago deep dish pizza. It's a bit of an odd pairing, however, people already think these two dishes are unusual anyway. The Chicago hot dog, they don't even include ketchup on it. What kind of asshole is gonna put ketchup on a hot dog? A child, Richie. Child asshole. I even found out the Chicago Cubs even sold this dish for a limited time at Wrigley Field. I'm super excited to show you guys this meal. Let's get it fired up. Let's get our soft, chewy dough going. In a stand mixer with the dough hook attachment, starting with two and one quarter cup plus one tablespoon all-purpose flour, one third cup cornmeal, one tablespoon sugar, one and a half teaspoon salt, one eighth teaspoon cream of tartar, one packet or nine grams of yeast. Whisk the dry ingredients together. Then, while the mixer is on low, slowly add half a cup of melted butter. Then slowly add one cup of warm water. If the dough feels too sticky, add half a tablespoon of flour at a time. As it starts to incorporate, you can turn the speed up to a medium low and mix it for five minutes. Now scoop your dough onto a lightly floured working surface. Knead and shape the dough into a tight ball. The dough should be soft and supple where it doesn't stick to the surface. It should have some spring back when you press on it. Lightly oil a bowl and place the dough inside. Cover with the plate and let it proof at room temperature for one to two hours or until it doubles in size. Time to get our flavorsome pizza sauce ready. In a large pot, heat two tablespoons of olive oil on high heat. When the pan gets hot, add half a diced onion and let it brown for a few minutes. Now add five garlic cloves pressed, one medium carrot grated, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir and cook for a few minutes to get rid of some of the bitterness. Turn the heat to a medium low and add one quarter cup red wine. Cook till most of the liquid has been absorbed into the veggies. Add one 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. Add one quarter cup of water. Add one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of oregano, half a tablespoon of red pepper flakes. Bring the sauce to a simmer and let it reduce down. About 20 minutes. Use a spoon to break apart the tomatoes. Chicago deep dish typically has a thicker sauce so it's okay to leave the tomatoes on the chunkier side. The sauce is thick enough when you can run a spoon through and the sauce holds apart. Turn the heat off and add one tablespoon of butter. Then season the sauce to taste and set aside. Back to our proof dough. Punch out all the air, knead and shape back into a ball. I'm using a 13 inch cast iron pan, so I'll roll the dough a couple inches bigger to 15. Put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the pan and brush around. Place the dough in the pan and start to press and shape the dough around the pan. Cover with a damp towel and let it proof at room temperature for an hour. Next, onto the hot dog filling. Spicy Italian sausage is a common ingredient in Chicago deep dish pizza, so we'll try to prepare the hot dogs like it. Add two tablespoons of oil to the pan on high heat. Add four diced hot dogs. Cook till you get a nice caramelization on both sides. Add one tablespoon of crushed fennel seeds, one eighth teaspoon paprika, one quarter teaspoon garlic powder, one eighth teaspoon black pepper, one eighth teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon Italian seasoning, one quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon red wine vinegar. Cook on low for a few minutes, then set aside. Back to our pan dough, which has gone through its second proof. Press down on the dough to get the air out. Shape and press the dough around the pan. Evenly spread out eight ounces of low moisture mozzarella slices. Eight ounces of provolone slices, our seasoned hot dogs, our homemade pizza sauce. Then top it off with six ounces of shaved Parmesan cheese. Chicago deep dish typically doesn't have this much cheese on top. However, since the Chicago style hot dog has a lot of acidic toppings, we need the extra fat to balance it out. Optionally, add four mozzarella sticks that have been cut in half lengthwise around the edges of the dough. 
This will give a nice caramelized cheese crust. Now pop it into a 425 degree oven and bake for 35 minutes or until the crust is a golden brown. While that's going, let's get our toppings prepped. Dice one Roma tomato, half an onion, two dill pickles, six to eight sport peppers. You can substitute pepperoncinis if you don't have sports peppers. Checking back on our pizza, it's turned into a beautiful golden brown. Set aside and let it rest for 10 minutes. Just hold on a little bit longer, we're almost ready to eat. With a large spatula, remove the pizza from the pan. It should slide out smoothly. Slice a piece out, top it with our diced onions, tomatoes, pickles, sports peppers, and a dash of celery salt. And there you have it, the Chicago Deep Dish Hot Dog. There are a lot of different elements in this dish that surprisingly works pretty well. I'll admit the hot dog and the pizza sauce is a little odd. However, the seasoning and the toppings balance it out pretty well. I omitted the mustard and relish from the hot dog because I didn't really think that worked well. I can't say this is the most delicious recipe I'll make on this channel. However, I can guarantee you this is gonna be one of the most unusual ones I make. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, peace out Chicago.